Hey folks, it's Jack and today you're actually going to learn three things. One, you're going to learn the common mistake most beginners makes when it comes to texturing the model. So that you can note them and understand why it's a mistake, you don't have to do the same. Two, you're going to learn how to use Matrix X 1.5 version to your host surface models. Three, this is my favorite one. You actually learn how to blend two imperfection to a single material. So let's start with the one. When it comes to texturing the model, most beginners and some of the intermediates go simple. You know, they don't even understand the importance of texturing the model. They have a really good model. They know how to design, you know, how to detail, how to shape, but they just simplify the process of texturing. So they be like, come here and they select the model and go to the shading tab click on this new button and adjusting the base color however they want then increase the metallic to one and just adjusting the roughness like this and they're done they say things like yeah i just add a metal material to my model but actually there's a problem it's really simple and there is no texture in it and the material looks flat and some of them would be like uh, intelligent they say things like I'm going to the shading tab and connect the bump node and set the strength to 0.1 so that I have some little bumpiness in my material kind of make it look real. Yeah, actually yes. But still, it's looking flat. There's no texture in it and it's not really looks real. So what is the best way you can do to, to get a better texture? When it comes to texturing, there is actually two different ways. One is the most common way so you go to the internet and then find the pbr materials download it then connecting to the nodes and then you're just fighting one hour with the uv depending on your model complexity then place your texture to your model that is the one way which is the boring stuff and takes a lot of time and still you get some uneven texture no matter how best your uv unwrapping is so that's the most common way or most people would just texturing the model and the second way is playing around with the nodes so you go to the shading tab and connecting noise texture going to the mix color color ramp and all the bullshit and wasting your hours finding the right texture but still your texture is gonna look like childish so we're actually using the second way but the refined version all you have to do is Choose your material and choose your imperfection and adjust the settings from the end panel. It only takes a few clicks and rest of the process, Matrix X can handle that. So all the node setup, all the organization of the nodes will be just automated. Your job is only choose the color and the imperfection and the material. That's it. The rest of the process is going to be handled by this tool. So you want to save time. You have a lot of customization and you still get the result of the guy who just plug in the notes for two hours. Same result instantly just by working smart. Well, even if you are not willing to purchase this add-on right now, you can actually go with option one. But don't just adding the material dislike uh, using a simple VSTF shader, which is not really looks good anyway. So either you can just go with like option one, like sacrificing your time and energy or you can just use the second way which is using the tool so it, it's depending on your choice but don't use to stifle off material uh, adjusting the metallic roughness and call it as a good texture that's make your artwork looks flat and boring so next number two let's talk about the new version of matrix x 1.5 a lot of users are already using it so it would be a complete guide for them to understand the new features we added and how to use the tool the right way to get a professional look so let's talk about the new features we added in the 1.5 version first thing you notice if you're already using the 1.4 version you can see some uh, difference when i switch to materials so you'll notice a material preview at the top the 1.4 version you don't really have this material preview so this is the new feature we added so before you slapping on your material you can actually preview it and see how it looks and then adding to your model so this is the first change we did in the 1.5 version next let's begin with the imperfection so what are the changes we did in imperfection let me just take the sphere and add a 
cube so it is a better way to explain the imperfections let me just start with edgeware so in edgeware we added a new option which is called wear strength this will allows you to adjust the strength of the edgeware so so let me just show how it works so i'm gonna set the base color to something black not to like this just a bit of gray and click on generate and let's go to the world preview and disable the scene pool. so now you see it has some middle value which is between the sharp and between the smooth so let's set this to zero you'll get a very smooth edge wear now you'll see that the edges are really really smooth but if i increase this to one if i increase the strength you'll notice that the edges are really tight and it's not really blend with the material this is the one option we added to the end panel to the edge wear so that you have more control on the strength of the edge wear next let's talk about the change we did for the rust imperfection so let me just click on generate first thing you notice is that it's really bright rust is really light bright orange and some of them would not really prefer like this kind of a brightness so if you want to adjust the brightness of this rust you can come here and increase the darkness value so the more you increase the more darker the rust will be so next we added a new imperfection called scratch so it is a procedural scratch so if i click on generate you'll see some little little scratches on the surface the stretch size is set to one which means you'll notice very small level of scratches to your material if i decrease it to like 0.01 the scratches are big scratch imperfection are really crucial because you can actually blend two values like scratch plus the dirt so we'll talk about that in a minute but just understand that this is a procedural scratch so you can adjust the scratch color scratch size and scratch location just by the end panel no need to visit the node setup and also you can visit the node setup it's really easy and organized in the shading tab you'll see that we have really organized nodes so if you want to have any control with the texture and if you have some basic knowledge about node setup you can always come here and adjust depending on your preference but anyway you don't really have to visit it but for advanced workflow you can come here and adjust however you want now let's talk about the metal type so we have a pre-made materials so steel dark steel so this type of material it's already have some imperfection to it so you don't really have to add a imperfection manually but if, if you want you can just add it, the imperfection but you may say things like oh i don't really see any imperfection tab right here how can i supposed to add it well it's really simple you can just uh, duplicate a material and move it aside then copy the imperfection then setting up the notes we'll just talk about that in a minute but anyway just understand that is a way to add imperfection so still these materials or contains its own type of texture for example if i click on this brushed metal it really has some like a real world metal now when i zoom in you can see how the texture is gonna look so you see some kind of like a lines so this is a brushed metal now let's talk about special mat so in special mat we added a new option for gold is called procedural gold and damaged gold you can use both of them for your project so if you want to add some damaged gold you can just come here click on this and click on generate so this will add some damages to the surface which will makes it look which will makes it looks more real and more creative next we define overall the materials for for the copper you get the really nice texture in it just like a real world based on the real world calculation we refine the material quality so it's really perfect the texture the color everything was just like a real world and next we add aluminium silver copper paint camo and shading so the shade is the new material we added to the matrix x so so if you want to go with like a camo or pattern material you can definitely try this for your weapons or for vehicles so by adjusting those colors you can control how the pattern is gonna look like and next for the plastic material we also refine the quality and the imperfection or just like a metal but you don't see the but you don't see the rust imperfection because for plastic rust doesn't make any sense 
and for wood material it's everything same just like 1.4 version and for the gas we made a huge improvement so if you're using the 1.4 version you actually notice that you have uh, three types of glass materials like window glass blur glass and all of them are pre-made materials so you don't really have control on its uh, texture but here you only have one type of glass material but it have a lot of customization so if i click on generate it will add a basic glass material it has some transmission and some a uh, glass reflection it's really basic but if you want to take this to a next level you have more option here you can adjust its roughness and you can add the smudge imperfection so if i set this to point six you see that it's kind of looks oh uh, blurry the reason is because the texture scale is set to very small so you'll see that the texture scale is set to zero if i set this to 0.5 or 6 you'll see a small level of patterns so it's too high let's set this to 0 0.01 ah, now you see some smudges it add up to the glass material now not only that we have another imperfection which is called crack so by setting this value to very small like 0.4 you'll notice some crack which is going to add it to the glass material so in the side you can see it just adds some crack going on from top to bottom and you can also adjust the crack amount and scale so if you want to make your scratch looks big you can set this one or if you want to make the tiny little scratches all over the surface you can also do that so this is the huge update we did for the glass material and next up for emission and rubber everything is same and also for the floor everything is pretty much same as 1.4 version yeah now let's talk about the dual imperfection which is number three how to add multiple imperfection to a single material this is a pretty advanced stuff but it's really useful to get the uh, more realistic texture to your model so first thing we have to do is choosing the material so i'm choosing a plastic material and set this color to like a dark yellow just like this and click on generate let's adjust the roughness to 0.6 and now we need to add the first imperfection the first layer so for that i'm going to add this down dirt so this option will allow you to add the dirt from the bottom then it have gradual intensity going on the top so just like a fade it's starting from the bottom and just gradually start spreading out so let's set the color one to be like really dark like this and the color two will be like a bit more dark than the previous one then click on the generate yeah it added the imperfection but right now you don't see any difference it still look like the same the reason is because the opacity is set to zero let's set this to 0.6 still you don't see anything let's set this to 0.6 yeah now you can see that a small dirt layer is started building from the bottom let me just increase this to 0.8 let's slightly playing around with the sliders yeah 0.68 which is the best value then adjust the spread value so if I decrease the value like this, you can see it's becoming more and more spread. Yeah, this level is fine. So we added the first layer of imperfection. The second layer of imperfection we want to add is dirt. So how we approach this? We need to add a new mesh. So it doesn't matter what is the shape is. We just need to capture the imperfection. For this, just make sure the base color is set up to like this. So if you don't know the if you already changed the color don't worry just come here click on this color picker then choose your color but sometimes it's gonna be look silly so let me just show you how to copy the exact color so now let's click on dirt imperfection and set this color to be like a uh, dark yellow and click on generate yeah now it added the second layer of imperfection now we have to take this imperfection and put it into the first material so how to do it it's very simple go to the shading tab and from there click on this material let me just zoom in a bit now 
click on this one copy all the code so just drag from this and copy everything except this material so just copy everything from the left and click on ctrl c to copy it come here and paste it at the bottom move it down a bit like this then take this mix color move it right and also this one bring them closer together and the output mode needs to be away from the mix now we have the two mix shader mode now what we need is a new mix shader so shift d to duplicate it move it like here and connect the shader one to this shader and this shader to this shader now it's very simple connect the new shader to this surface the first imperfection which is a down dirt is pretty much removed the reason is because the factor is set to 0.5 which means it blends the two material the same level so if i set this to zero you can notice that we get the downward imperfection and if i set this to one i get the dirt imperfection by placing the factor middle which is 0.5 which is going to mix the imperfection the same level so i don't really want that so i set the factor to 0.18 so this will add more strength to the layer 1 and the layer 2 is going to look really mild. But if you want the layer 2 to be more visible, what you can do is just come here and come to this dirt imperfection node. And from there, just adjust the color ramp slider by moving this black slider further away from the left and also move the white slider a bit. You can just set a factor to like 0.3 or yeah, 0.385, which looks good. Now you notice that it added the first layer, which is a down dirt at the bottom, and at the top, it really have a small level of imperfection, which is the dirt. So this is the one way you could blend the two imperfection. I don't know if there is an option for blending three imperfection. I just have to test it, and if I see any good result i can share it but for now this is how you can blend to imperfection it's not only work for downward and dirt it also works for rust edgeware oxidation and pretty much all the material stuff you get from the matrix x this is the same method to blend the two imperfections so that's pretty much it you learn what are the mistakes that beginners makes and then you learn how to use matrix x 1.5 version and then you learn how to blend to imperfection to a single material to get a insane texture if you would like to purchase this add-on the link will be in the description it available both in dumb road and blender market and use the code jack20 to get a special offer the offer ends in august 1 so before you use the offer go and grab this add-on and one more thing i want to say that is this add-on is not going to contain like 300 plus bullshit materials it only have few materials but that's all you need for your hot surface workflow and also the materials are procedural you can adjust however you want and if you want to work with advanced stuff you can also go to the setting tab the notes are organized and clean so but still you don't really have to visit the note setup it's really depending on your choice you get a good result without even visiting the note just by adjusting the values from the end panel so that's all i wanted to share Thanks for your support and I'll be seeing you in my next course very soon.